So before I start a soul rainbow silk, before I start anything where I'm working with a, a person for a consultation or in my workshops, I put something into my auric field called Serapis Bay. It comes from Aurasoma and it cleanses my energy field. So I'm kind of like a blank slate. I put it into my energy field and I, I cut my hands and um, smell the, the lovely essences that are in the Serapis Bay. And then I say a prayer. And the prayer is really to invoke the angels, the guides, the energies to help me link with whoever the silk is for and to help me connect to the silk and the colors, the rays that are going to go into the silk, the symbols that will go into the silk. I've already tuned in to the person the silk is for and I saw lots of golds and yellows. So when I chose the colors, I didn't consciously choose them, I used my pendulum to choose the colors and I have about 40 or 50 different bottles of dye and five bottles came out, three of them were yellow, the other two were kind of pink and purple. So I've picked the first color up and the first color up is a kind of pinky purple color and what came to me was to um, paint hearts. So this lady is a big heart. She's a walking heart, as I like to say. But the hearts didn't want to just be singular, they wanted to be doubled. So I felt very much that this person loved to connect, liked to make heart-to-heart -heart connections, was very heart-focused, very heart-centered. And really enjoys being part of a tribe lots of hearts around her and at the center there are two hearts those two hearts are joined and that to me is a symbol of of the goddess as well then what came in was one of the yellows and it wanted to be um kind of rays going from the out from the outside into the center and this made of course it's yellow but it also made a little bit of an orange a golden color with that um, pinky purple of the hearts. In between I'm taking photos because when I write about the silk I write about the colors and the shapes and everything that went into it. I want to be able to remember so I take photos to um, prompt my memory. What came up then was that the deeper purple color wanted to be spirals but it wanted to be kind of a trinity of spirals. So again, there's a goddess energy that comes into this silk. And the spirals are connecting. Can you see that they're all connecting to each other? So this kind of solidified this idea that the person liked to connect to groups, especially women, really like to, to connect with women. So the next color is a spray and I'm using my pendulum because I've seen how it will go uh, from a psychic perspective but I just wanted to check. So it wanted to go round and round in circles as I went around the silk and it wanted to be, um, wanted to fill up the spirals gold and yellow energy in the spiral. So this is indicative of the solar plexus chakra, maybe the sacral center as well, the root chakras, but definitely a, a sense of chakra energy that's moving out here. So this person would work with the chakras, have a, a strong intention to connect to the chakras. The final spray wanted to spray outwards from the center of those um, spirals. And it's kind of interesting that one spray wanted to go inwards and one wanted to go outwards. They're both yellow. And the other yellow spray wanted to go round and round. <laughs> so, you know, there's a strong feeling of, of chakra energy that's here because we, we send energy out, we bring energy in, and we process energy in our chakras. So I had a feeling that I wanted to add a little extra 
peace and, you know, I'm going to go with my feelings. And the final part is adding some salt and the salt just, it reduces some of the dyes. It takes out some of the colors. And so there's some interesting little pieces, little images, shapes that are left once the salt has done its work. They're like sparkles within the silk. So I'm adding it to all of the center of the circles. Just a little bit, not too much. If it's too much, it'll take out too much of the dye, too much of the color. So once I've finished, I say another prayer to seal the energy of the silk and to say thank you. Because even though you don't realize it, I'm working with spirit, I'm working with the energy. So then the silk is um, steamed and washed and ironed and this is the finished product. You can see where the salt has been. Those little sparkles in the center of the, of the circles and you can see the hearts as well, right at the back. This is a beautiful silk, orange, gold, pink and yellow, really vibrant. If you're interested in having your own silk rainbow, your own soul rainbow, you can check me out at sealwithlove.com forward slash soul dash rainbows. You can also check my store at store.sealwithlove.com where you can find other soul rainbows videos. Thank you for watching. <laughs>